G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and the Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cook an Aussie salmon. Now a lot of anglers ask me this question all the time. So today I'm going to show you how to cook my special fish curry. Okay, let's get started on this beautiful fish curry. Our salmon curry. First thing I do is put a bit of olive oil in our pan. And in goes our onions. Now you're going to cook your onions off to their uh, translucent and soft. Now while that's cooking off, I've got some uh, green curry paste, just sort of picked up at the lo local supermarket. I'm going to put a good amount, two tablespoons, is probably sufficient, into your pan. And like I said, it's a pretty simple curry. And you just cook off the curry paste while your onions are cooking. Also what I like to add to this is just a little bit of lime pepper seasoning. Lime goes really well with a, a curry. Just a splash more olive oil in there. As it's cooking down. pretty good there. Now what I'm going to add in is just a little bit of coconut cream just to uh, add a bit of moisture. Not too much. I'll put the bulk of it in right at the end. And the coconut cream just gets our lovely flavours all bonding together. Just turn that down. And the uh, onions now are nice and soft and the curry paste now is it's all mixed up nicely. And to that, I'm just going to add probably two cups of just your frozen mixed vegetables that you buy at the, uh, the supermarket. You don't have to put vegetables in it, but I like a, a, a curry with vegetables in any of my curries I make. Now that's starting to thicken up quite nicely. I just need a little bit more moisture in there, so I'm just going to add a bit of water. and then let that cook off. Now we'll just bring that back to the boil and we'll reduce that a little bit then. And then we're pretty much ready for our fish to go in. Okay, so it's uh, simmering along nicely now and starting to reduce. Next thing we need to do now is add our salmon. So there's our beautiful Australian salmon that we caught the other day. So I'm just going to put these cubes in here, but it's right at the end because you don't want to cook your fish for too long. Otherwise it'll all just fall to pieces on you. Plenty of salmon in there which is good. Now it's time to add the rest of the coconut milk or cream, whatever you prefer to use. I'm using coconut cream today. In that goes. Turning back up a little bit. And this is a pretty bulky curry. And nice and creamy. Just be gentle with your fish, otherwise it will fall apart as it starts to cook. 
you want to try and retain the pieces of fish. Now what I do is just give it a simple taste, just to make sure I got my flavours right. Well, that's tasting pretty good. I like a little bit of bite, so I'm just going to add a little bit of chilli sauce. Just to give that curry a little bit of a kick. See now the fish is just starting to cook through. So just be gentle as you start to push it around. I'll just try that again now. Important to taste things when you are cooking. Really good, needs a little bit of salt. You can use just standard salt or you could use a fish sauce if you wanted to. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to turn this right down now. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to let it cook now on a very low heat for about 10 minutes, just to make sure the fish is cooked right through. A very low heat. Okay, that's been simmering away now for about eight to 10 minutes. The fish looks to me cooked all the way through. So it's time to plate up. All I'm doing today is a simple white rice. Put some of this beautiful curry on top and some of those lovely veggies. Plenty of that sauce. Well there you have it guys, my Australian salmon fish curry. Very simple, fast to make, and very, very tasty. Give it a try. So guys, tune in next week for another fantastic clip on The Hook and the Cook. Please subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we'll catch you guys on the water next week. Cheers.